Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillips. Today we're going to be going over some clips from the 2019 Week 16 game featuring the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Houston Texans. These are some things I found interesting. They're not highlight plays, nor are these so much X's and O's as they are Jimmy's and Joe's. These are not all the plays of the game, but they are select clips and they are in chronological order. If you enjoy in-depth coverage of the Buccaneers, be sure to check out our podcast located here on YouTube and all podcast platforms such as iTunes, Podbean, Google Podcasts, Spotify, etc. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get to it. 13.59 in the first quarter, 74, Ali Marpet uh, goes to the second level and tries to block 41, Zach Cunningham. Now, there's a beautiful hole here. You can see Ronald Jones has all day. I mean, that is a beautiful hole. Unfortunately, 41 blows up Ali Marpet and pushes him right back into Ronald Jones. 13-19 in the first quarter. This is Jameis Winston's second interception. This was returned back for a touchdown, but called back because of a penalty on... 94, Charles Amenhu for a blindside block. I do not think this was shown on the broadcast. You can see it here. He gets 65, Alex Kappa. Okay, there's the interception. Here is the blindside block. Uh, 94, blindside blocks, 65. Boom. 65 looks a little hurt on that one. 12-19 12-19 in the first quarter. They leave the Dhammakong suit number 93 unblocked. Uh, I'm assuming that they think the runner is going to be too fast and get by him too quick and that he will not be able to see what the play is unfolding in front of him, but he reads it well and stops it. That's just pretty. 11-29 in the first quarter. Houston, Texas just scored a field goal. Kevin Minter, number 51, and Stewart, number 24, block nobody on this kickoff. Uh, Three Texans get by, coming untouched to make the tackle. That's just inexcusable. 11-23 in the first quarter. This is a Ronald Jones run for 49 yards. This is pretty much all on Ronald Jones, but there is a good block by uh, 74, Ali Marpet, right there. He gets a good block on 20, Justin Reed. Boom! But for the most part, this was just a good run by Ronald Jones. 9.32 in the first quarter. This is a one-yard run by Peyton Barber on a third and three. 66 gets a good pancake on 98 DJ Reader. Both tackles 76. Donovan Smith and 69 DeMar Dotson get beat to the inside. Their guys make the tackle. However, let's watch this late breakfast by Jensen. Pancakes. Very next play, Peyton Barber runs to the left for two yards. There's a penalty on Ishmael Hyman for offensive holding, which is a shame because Thomas Smith lays a great block on 21, Bradley Roby, on this outside edge. Splat. Nice run by Peyton Barber. Two minutes and one seconds left in the first quarter. Now, we all know this was a horribly officiated game, but this is totally unexcusable. Uh, 17, Justin Watson gets pretty much laid out by number 50, Tyrell Adams, as he's coming across the field. This should have been flagged as illegal contact. Boom, right there. Fourteen twenty-three in the second quarter. Levante David ends up causing a fumble by 25, Duke Johnson. This is one of the things that I think Levante David is highly underrated for, is avoiding and getting off of blocks. 
you're going to see 77 pulls and is the lead blocker for 25 Duke Johnson. It's his job to block Levante David, but let's see what happens. Okay, you see 77 is getting ready to block Levante David. Duke Johnson is supposed to follow behind 77 Chris Clark. But watch Levante David. He actually avoids this block at the last second, dips his shoulder, hits David Johnson, causes a fumble, and makes the tackle for a loss. That's just incredible play. Let's watch this again at full speed without any pausing. Just keep an eye on Levante David. Twelve thirty-nine in the second quarter. This is third and eight. Uh, Sean Murphy bunting number 26 bats this ball down. However, watch big boy Vita. He just gets right past 66. Nick Martin, he ends up hitting uh, Watson too before he throws the ball. This is just sweet. Zip, zip. 12-34 in the second quarter. There's a punt by Brian Anger. Uh, 37, Nazi Wilkins, and 34, Andrew Adams are covering 34, Taiwan John on this punt, and he ends up splitting them and goes right through them, puts a shifty little move on them, but uh, this is inexcusable. These special teams have got to start getting better. Look at that. And he runs down here and makes the tackle. This is the same play. Keep an eye on <clears throat> Ryan Smith, number 29. He's wrapped up with this guy. The guy grabs hold of him. Now you can see the referee up here, takes his hand off and throws it, showing that they went out of bounds. And he's staring right at him, but he doesn't throw a flag for this guy grabbing Ryan Smith and pulling him to the ground. Nine forty-one in the second quarter. Uh, Watson has to get this ball out quick. He does. Vita Vea pushes the center sixty-six. Nick Martin right back into him. Fifty-eight. Shaquille Barrett beats his man. Sixty-three. Roderick Johnson. Johnson does end up coming back and <laughs> diving at his feet, tripping him up. But here's what you what you want to look at. Adama Kong Su flat out beats the right guard and has a straight shot for Watson. Ugh. Watson's lucky he got that ball out in time. 513 in the second quarter. Ron Jensen number 66. This is how you block somebody coming in on a stunt. Take it to the ground. <laughs> 57 seconds left in the second quarter. Uh, Deshaun Watson, number four, throws an interception. Caught by Jamal Dean of Tampa Bay. 94, Carl Nassib beats 73, Zach Fulton for a pressure. There was also... Hands to the face on 58 by 77. Looked like Jamal Dean pushed off a little bit on number 12 before he caught the interception. 9.42 in the third quarter. 54, Levante David gets a hit on number four, Watson, causing him to throw an errant pass. He gets right by Duke Johnson, who doesn't even see him. Duke Johnson ends up going out for the pass. Seven twenty-three in the third quarter. This is third and thirteen. Jameis Winston ends up scrambling up the middle for fourteen yards, getting the first down. However, I think this probably would have been a better option for him. Forty-four. Daria Ogunbowale is wide open. Nobody near him. Closest guy is him. 
Here's the first down marker. I think Dari probably would have got that plus more. Instead, Winston scrambles. He ends up getting the first down. Two forty-eight in the third quarter. Alex Cap at sixty-five gets beat by ninety-seven. Angelo Blackson, who gets a pressure on Jameis Winston, causing an errant pass. Fourteen thirty-four in the fourth quarter. Here we go again with some more special teams play with Mazzy Wilkins and Adams. This time the guy gets around them, but that's not the issue. The issue is, this is the guy that makes the tackle. If you notice, he's right behind Mazzy Wilkins and Adams. They never turn around to block him. He just goes right past them. Boop. 628 in the fourth quarter. 74, the left guard, Ali Marpet, gets beat by 98, DJ Reader. He just pushes him straight back into Jameis Winston. He actually hits Jameis when he's throwing the ball. He does complete the pass to Ronald Jones, however, for a uh, modest game. Look at that, just straight pushback. This is that same play, 76, left tackle, Donovan Smith. He gets beat by 59 Merciless, coolest name in football. Merciless gets around Donovan Smith, but uh, James Winston gets the ball out before he gets there. 334 in the fourth quarter. Jason Pierre Paul, number 90, gets a sack on uh, number four, Watson. Uh, he ends up beating tight end 87, Darren Fells. And like Booger McFarland says, America, listen to me right now. Stop allowing tight ends to block premier pass rushers. And this is just uh, too much for 87 to handle. 113 in the fourth quarter, 56. Nunez Rochez, a.k.a. Nacho, he just olays 77. Chris Clark, who false starts a little bit, but I mean, it's really, really close. And then Nacho goes to tackle Carlos Hyde, 23, who <laughs> gets behind number 63, and Nacho ends up tackling number 63. It's, it's actually pretty comical. Ole, and then tackle. <laughs> also, same play, the Namakong Sioux, number 90. He tosses 73 Zach Fulton to uh, make this tackle on Carlos Hyde, number 23. They just throws him to the ground. That's how you do it. 21 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. The score is 23-20 Houston. Jameis Winston scrambles around in the pocket a little bit. He ends up checking it down to Dare Ogunbowale. Right here. We have the Buccaneers have no more timeouts left, so it would have been much more appropriate for Jameis Winston to try to hit number 17, Justin Watson, who could have caught the ball and gone out of bounds, would have given us more yardage. I don't know if Jameis Winston was kind of skittish about throwing these out routes because he's had two of them intercepted or what, or if he was just not in a position where he could throw this ball with enough velocity and accuracy because he is on the run. Uh, this That throw did kind of hurt us a bit, though. This has been the Buccaneers Observer. Don't forget to like and subscribe.